Rafa held an information session for the 2017 women's competition here at Sports Cover Arena last night with more than 30 clubs in attendance. Things are moving quickly with applications for clubs due next week and the player registrations officially opening on the 1st of November. St Mary's Salesian has been at the forefront of recruitment since women's football was announced, using social media as an advertising tool for attracting players. Has it worked? Well, the Saints currently have more than 70 committed players and aim to become the first VAFA club with more registered women than men. The local community has also seen the unbelievable progress and reacted accordingly, with Burundara Council and the Rotary Club of Baldwin donating the annual community strengthening grant to the setup of the Saints women's team. The jumper sponsors have also been locked in, with Saving Green and Yochi appearing on the inaugural women's Guernseys next year. Former Big V senior coach Cam Roberts has re-signed with his beloved University Blacks and will look to expand on his role as he delves deeper into the development of young players as a mentor through the Blacks Academy. If that wasn't enough, Roberts has also been named as forward line coach for the Western Bulldogs women's team. He will join former Monash Blue senior coach Paul Groves as the Bulldogs look to ride the recent wave of success into next year. For the full story on Roberts, visit vafa.com.au. New coaches are being announced at a rapid pace throughout the VAFA, with James McDonald of the Old Zavarians, St Bede's Mentone Tigers Sam Anstey, and Mark Williams of Ajax, the talk of the town. Joining these gentlemen in senior coaching positions are Ryan Smith of Old Paradians, Ash Nolte of Aquinas, Shannon Collins of Richmond Central, Jared Carlson of Marcelin, and Anthony Palmer of Ferry Panola. Last but certainly not least is the announcement of St John's new senior coach, Anthony Brannan. He's not just a favourite down at Thomas Carroll Reserve, but also a Vaffa Media star. Check out some of Brano's better work from earlier this year. Yeah, yeah. I love being around a club that has so many people who have been there for a long amount of time, and they're obviously there because they're not getting anything financial from it, but they're getting a lot of joy out of being around the place, so I really enjoy that part of the amateur style of football. I enjoy the fact you don't have to go to a club where they throw cans at you and things like that because they can't drink during the game. So <laughs> that makes it that makes it better. Not as much heckling in the back. I don't think the off-field off heckling is a bit more yeah, yeah, yeah. in there. The off-field heckling is not so not so bad. Two, one. <laughs>